Coming up on Look Today, well, Veterans Day ceremonies took place all across the region. I've got details. And voters approved the 2017 budget for the Crandall Public Library in Glens Falls. More on that coming up. And the Community Coalition of Wellness raises awareness on the topic of bullying. I've got details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Sergeant Eddie Ryan. He's a Marine and an injured vet, and he's here to, with his family to talk about his experience in the Middle East. I also sit down with Amy Hughes. Now she's a program coordinator for the Saratoga County Veterans Peer Connection, and she's here to talk about the importance of connecting veterans and helping them in need. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, today is Veterans Day, and we should all take the time to thank and recognize those who served our country. Now, no matter who you are, we all share a sense of freedom that we cannot take for granted. And we're all afforded this privilege because of our veterans, and today, we get to thank them. Now, all throughout our local region, parades and ceremonies took place to honor them. Many gathered at the Veterans Memorial Site at SUNY Adirondack to pay tribute to all the fallen heroes from our region. And the site has a plaque with a list of names of those who attended SUNY Adirondack as well as fought in wars over the years. Now, amongst the attendees was President Christine Duffy, and we spoke to her. At SUNY Adirondack, we take great pride in providing a fresh start and renewed opportunities for our veterans who are returning from service. We are proud of your service, and we thank you for joining us today and every day. Thank you. And another ceremony took place at the Maplewood Cemetery in Saratoga Springs. The ceremony began with a march featuring the Gertler brothers of the VFW Post 420. Now, a service took place afterwards at the Post home. Senator Kathleen Marchione spoke. As we uh, commemorate Veterans Day, we need to think about the sacrifices that our veterans have made, that those who are still serving in the armed forces make each and every day for us. Now, also present at the service was Mayor Joanne Yepsen of Saratoga Springs, and she spoke. And taking care of our military is something that is a huge priority for all of us, I know, but we have to continue to focus on that because we need them. We need the service, but we also need to serve them when they return. In other news, well, voters approved the 2017 budget for the Crandall Public Library in Glens Falls. Now, throughout the local region, which includes Glens Falls, Queensbury, and Moreau, voters have approved the budget. It's four and a half million dollars. Now, this means more services, community programs, and materials available to the public and the new budget will not raise taxes. We spoke to Kathy Neftali. She's a director of the Crandall Public Library. We're very happy that um, the community has supported us. The vote was strong in all three municipalities, Glens Falls, Queensbury, Moreau. It just gives us the opportunity to continue to give the great services we already do and get the right book, the right DVD, the right material in the hands of whoever wants it and to continue our collaborative programming with the rest of the community. Switching from news to weather. Well, as expected, the temperatures were cool today. And let's see how the rest of the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, in an effort to combat bullying in schools in our region, parents and teachers attended a meeting at the Tanglewood Elementary School in South Glens Falls. Now, the Community Coalition for Family Wellness hosted the event. The purpose is to help teachers and parents develop deeper relationships with children and students and what to do if they suspect someone is being bullied. Well, we were at the meeting and we spoke to Mike Patton. He's the superintendent, South Glens Falls School District. 
Every year we put together a series of parent university programs uh, in conjunction with the Community Coalition for Family Wellness. And so tonight uh, the focus is on uh, developing positive relationships uh, for our students in both the school and community setting and efforts that the school district is working on to reduce bullying uh, in our schools. Now up next, I sit down with Sergeant Eddie Ryan. He's a Marine and he's an injured veteran. And he's here with his family to talk about his experience in the Middle East. Now we first ran this interview when they were holding a dinner. This, that dinner already happened. We just want to run the interview again to honor him. And also to let you know that that dinner turned out to be very successful. Plus, I also sit down with Amy Hughes. She's a program coordinator for the Saratoga County Veterans Peer Connection. And she's here to talk about the importance of connecting veterans and helping them in need. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. It's Friday, so I want to thank Jessalyn and Andrew and Drew, Jack and Joel, and Norm for making this program possible each week. And I have a couple of lookouts for you tonight. Uh, first, I think, and foremost, seeing that interview we did with Eddie Ryan and his parents again really meant something. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we did that interview prior to a dinner. They were having to raise funds for Eddie. That dinner did happen and it was very successful. And it's just really nice to pay tribute to Eddie again. Um, we got a couple of things going on. Uh, I did an interview this week with the uh, people from, uh, that are producing Spamalot at the Wood Theater in Glens Falls. That's happening this weekend. And also I did an interview with Drew Calley. He was a spiritual medium. And that event is Sunday at Universal Preservation Hall. Boy, between seeing Spam a lot and going to see Drew Calley, that's quite a weekend. Um, tonight on Look TV, it's beyond the headlines. A couple of new episodes of Tracks. Uh, have a safe weekend and don't forget, tune in Monday night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.